Hello, welcome to a, uh, another uh, tutorial. Um, today, what we're going to do is uh, go into the filter menu and uh, show you some little hidden uh, gems. So, can we come down here, open the, fil the filter menu, and come down to all plugins and then filters. And there's several things here. Some of these are repeated up in the actual um, filter area, and some of these only exist down here in this uh, in this area. So we'll look at a, a few of these here. Checker creates a checkerboard. It's not adjustable in so far as um, colors or sizes or anything. Um, in the actual filter area, there is a checkerboard which then lets you um, create a checkerboard. So slightly different than the checkers. Next, and under all plugins, filters again, um, we'll go with a black hole. And what this does is create a black hole. How about that? Um, of course, the shape that you pick will um, help determine how uh, realistic your your little tunnel into nowhere goes but it's fun you can uh, you know if you cut this out you could make an interesting looking gem then whiten that out things of that nature all right um, next under all plugins is uh, the dog waffle community so this just opens up a little thing which has um, downloads helps things of this and uh, things like that the forums and takes you directly to the best 3d.com so just a quick uh, get you there fast next under here um, we have confetti and confetti is a, a render um, type engine and uh, so we can preview if you were to film that as an animation, you would, you know, get uh, fireworks, things like that. You can set your frames there. Um, you can make it sticky. You can change so that it shards instead of uh, the particles. Um, have collision on it. Change our color. So as it's bouncing against things, you can see there showing some collision. So some really neat effects for that. And of course, you can then change um, like your gravity. We'll put the gravity up some, and everything just kind of falls like dumping out of a thing. We put the gravity to zero, and then it just goes everywhere. So anyway, that's a fun one to. Uh, play around with. Next, under our filter, is uh, Light Bloom. Um, there's a similar um, star bloom, as you notice it says star filtering, up in the actual um, area. I don't have any white here, and so it really didn't um, change anything. If I was to change this to white and go down to starry mm -hmm, starry um, and then you know make a few stars here and then run the star filter um, you have to be careful if you've got a lot of white and a slow computer then it takes quite a while for that uh, to filter So it's going in, it's just going to uh, brighten and kind of halo flare out um, the places where we've got the white and the stars. One day I'll have more memory on this computer and things will go a little faster. Almost there. And... Um, as you see, it's not a huge effect. Um, individual 
star areas and whatnot would have a uh, greater effect than we've got kind of the the float over here. Now we kind of have the moat in God's eye. Um, as we come down to the next one, optimize the, uh, or let's do the medium, median first. Um, there is medians again also up in the uh, regular filter area. It takes a high pass and a low clip. Um, so again, we've got enough craziness going on, it's not that noticeable. If we were to set it up very high, and then let it do its thing. Again, uh, some of these things take a little bit longer to uh, run through. If you'll notice up here, if you're wondering what's going on, up at the top you'll see your plug-in status, how far it's going, so you know that it just hasn't um, crashed. So it's right there. And 79 percent, 85 percent, 90, 95 and 100 percent and so there we did it uh, did its median um, by setting up so high we kind of see a little bit better all right I'll undo some of this so that on our next one we can see things a little bit better we'll come in and we're gonna optimize the palette basically it's uh, clearing out any extra colors because we have red and black um, it's keeping that it's like the old you know 256 uh, colors and whatnot so it's optimized for this um, smallest thing then let's clear this and real quick we will render a oh, brick texture that looks good now we go down into the plugins, the filters, and to the propagate. Propagate tends to uh, make things like an oil painting. There is also the um, oil painting in the uh, filter area, which can do that um, as well. So here we go. It's smished all of our lines and things. Cool patterns. Um, you would see a greater effect if you were using this on a photo rather than as we did here on the uh, the texture. Here we have a nice photo. Hello horse. And we we'll come in here, plugins, filters, and the propagate. Make it pretty intense so that you guys can see it. It's doing its thing. There we are. 90%. And there we have our oil painting. Um, as I says in the filter, there's also under artistic um, the oilify, which is pretty uh, similar. But this one's just a you know quick and dirty right there. We continue uh, on down. Um, the dithering um, adds in your half tones and uh, and things just like a the old newspaper um, pictures, cartoons, and things like that. So you can add a, a nice thing um, in with that up in your uh, noises or something. Yeah, I'm not remembering where it's at right now. There is another uh, place for doing that as well somewhere color maybe ah there we are there's our our dithers there and uh, that gives you a little bit more control on it than the uh, the one down here um, next is um, sign and as you see it makes cool little sets of uh, squares
sine functions. Down in here, we'll do random flares. It uh, always uses the same set of colors, but now you have a, a nice little uh, random -y star field to start out of. You could then change and manipulate uh, this to get some different effects. Uh, you could probably even use it as a uh, 3D height map. Um, you get some buttes and some volcanoes and things. Next we have Waffle Eyes. I'll turn our scale down just a little bit. And there we have it. We have just waffleized the picture. Um, this is similar to the weave. Um, weave has a, of course, a weave texture instead of the waffle texture. Um, so there's that. And um, last uh, down here is the whirly noise. Um, this one's also very um, adjustable as to what it's doing. And uh, it's based on the whirly thing, which you can look up in Wikipedia. It's a some sort of a mathematical thing, much like a um, fractal. You can turn on jewel style, which gives a little bit more of a 3D look. Turn that off, and uh, we can invert it. Um, there's a cellular um, structure in the filters as well that does something that's very similar. There's the 5x5 five five sampling. And uh, maximize. This is, you know, without changing anything on the scale or the octaves, just on these areas. And uh, these can get you um, neat 3D maps and things too, depending on how you um, change and alter them. So there we go by setting the octaves up, getting some new and interesting things. Looks like bunches and bunches of monster teeth. All right. Uh, when you're done, you can render it or you can say OK. Either one uh, works. And that covers the filters. So next time, we will uh, take a look uh, at some other area and, and uh, eventually we'll get down here and cover some of the miscellaneous, some more hidden jewels. See, now that I've showed it to you, you're going to go in there and check it all out yourself. Alright, um, I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you next time.